Well, it is a hard idea to imagine something smaller than an atom in a fraction of a second swelling larger than the observable universe. I mean, that's such an incredible scale of growth that it's just unfamiliar in any realm of experience, of human experience. But when we look at the mathematics, we do find this bizarre sounding idea of anti-gravity, repulsive gravity. You and I are used to attractive gravity. You drop something, it falls toward the earth because the earth and the object attract each other. And we have never experienced any other kind of gravity. But the math of Einstein's theory shows that in certain exotic situations, Gravity can be outward pushing, not inward pulling. And the exotic situation is just a region that's uniformly filled with energy. We're used to the gravity of a clumpy rock like the Earth or a clumpy star like the sun. It's not uniform. It's there and then there's empty space around it. That yields attractive gravity. But the math shows if the energy is spread out, there's an outward gravitational push and we believe that in the very earliest moments of the universe, a little tiny patch of space was filled with this uniform energy that gave rise to a powerful outward push that drove everything to swell enormously from, as we were saying, a tiny size to bigger than all that we can see.